Hi, I'm Danielle, and welcome to Purposeful Pilates. Today I'm going to show you knee folds. They are a basic fundamental Pilates exercise that um, are designed to help you increase the strength in your lower abs. So I'm going to show you the building blocks with them, starting with an easy version and then working our way up to a more difficult version. If you do these regularly, they'll go a long way towards strengthening your lower abs and helping you advance and progress throughout the more um, challenging Pilates exercises. So let's get going. You're going to lie on your back. Knees bent, feet flat, and uh, heels underneath your knees, essentially. Arms are just resting by your side. So you want to scoop your belly button in and up. In other words, draw your navel to your spine so that you feel your back flatten on the mat and you're really engaging into your lower abs, your internal stabilizer muscles. So our goal is to keep the back anchored into the mat for the entire exercise by engaging those lower abs. So with that, I'm going to hinge at my hip and float my left leg off the mat and I hold. Now, I draw my stomach in deeper, feel my back stay on the mat, lower the leg down. Switch legs, so hinge at the hip, float your right leg off the mat and hold. Draw your stomach in, lower it down. So you'll notice that my pelvis is staying still and my knee is staying quiet. So when I bring the leg up, the knee is not hinging like so. The movement is from my hip and my stomach. That is what's controlling the movement of the leg. So hinging at the hip to bring the leg up, draw my stomach in, lower down. I often use the visual of a belly button, the string from my belly button to the knee, pulls the leg up and it lowers it down. So belly button string pulls it up and it lowers. We'll do one more each. If this feels simple, I will make it harder in a second and the left leg comes up and we lower down. Next step, we're gonna kind of march in place. So we'll make it a little more challenging. So first, same thing here. Float the leg off the mat and hold. Draw your stomach in, get your back anchored on the mat. Now, as you start to lower this leg down, the other one lifts. So we're gonna keep the legs a little elevated here and they just pass in the night. Your low back again should stay anchored on the mat. Now, if that's feeling fairly simple, you can tap the foot to the floor and now switch and tap and switch and tap. So the further the heel is away from your butt, the harder this is going to be. So just make note of that. If you want more challenge, again, bring the legs out further away from your butt, but keep your back on the mat and keep your navel glued to your spine. If it's too much, again, go back to the elevated version of this where the legs are up and you're just kind of bicycling them back and forth. And we lower them all the way down and we'll take it up one more notch. So with this version, your inner thighs are squeezing tight. They are the gateway to your lower abs. So you don't wanna have wimpy legs here. Squeeze your inner thighs tight, squeeze your butt and scoop your navel to your spine. Float both legs into tabletop and you hold. So notice I'm at 90 degrees here with my knee and hip. I'm not um, pulling my knees in tight to my chest. My um, tailbone is still anchored on the mat. With this one, I'm gonna hinge at the hips again, just like we've been doing, tighten my butt inner thighs, lower the legs down an inch or two, bring them back up. So again, hinge to lower, scoop to return. Again, hinge to lower, scoop to come up. For two more, lower, and lift, and one more, lower, and lift, and lower the legs down. So I recommend that you do a few, couple sets of eight to 10 of each of those that will really help you build your strength. And just work your way up, starting with one leg at a time, and then the marching, and then double leg, lower lift with that. Good luck with your knee folds. Thanks for joining me.